Which rules in North America? Can anyone stop the mayhem? Things get mixed up in South America, and there's a winning culture in Europe. We'll recap the final day of the team quarterfinals next on Game Central. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another quarterfinal team edition of Game Central. I'm Sean Woodland with Tommy Marquez. This episode presented by Beast Gooder, $25 active sunglasses for everybody. And Tommy, as we get set for day number three, you got to take a look back at day number two. And that was really when the contenders started to separate themselves. Yeah, and that's because there were two very different tests than we saw on day number one. A little bit more grunt work and top end strength. And as a result, once you start to mix all four tests together, the true contenders start to rise to the top and give us a good idea of who could take it home on day three. Here are the overall leaderboards after day two for each continent. Your overall leaders, Eichstad and Mighty Oaks in Africa. There was a tie in Asia between Team Dubai and the Kolesnikov team from the port. They were your top team in Europe. Uh, Crossed Mayhem Freedom, as expected, leading the way in North America. 64 Army Gold, they've been great through four tests, and then four mixed Brazil uh, down in South America. But Mayhem, two of four wins after day number two, and you talk about separation. They have clearly separated themselves as the class of the competition in North America. Yeah, and this was more of what we expected mm -hmm. from them overall coming into the weekend. Obviously, they have the best time in test three, but this is actually what really stood out to me was test number four. Coming into the day, they were chasing two teams on the overall leaderboard. They beat both of those teams by 42 spots and 61 spots respectively, and that is the type of performance that ultimately cements you at, on top of the leaderboard. There was only one test remaining on day number three, test number five had just two movements, snatches and burpee box jump overs, nine, six, three of each. The women go first and then the men after them. And the weights here different than they were with the individual, as were the heights on the boxes as well. Yeah, really it comes down to barbell loading for me here. There's such a big difference between fast singles and touch and go, or even power snatch versus a full snatch. And just one athlete is all it takes to make a massive difference here, where you can have everybody doing it one way and one athlete struggles, and it can completely blow up your score on the overall leaderboard. And speaking of scores in test number five, a lot of familiar names putting up the top marks in their continents. Eichstad, Mighty Oaks, they were the only team in Africa to finish this test, 1239 for them. CrossFit, Mayhem, Freedom, nine, 49 and then Team Dubai, that was huge for them with that 13 minute uh, 41 second time as they wind up separating themselves from the Kolesnikov team in Asia. Talk about a clutch performance. This one was huge for Team Dubai. Remember, they came into the day in a tie with Kolesnikov and Kolesnikov actually had the tiebreaker as well. So by winning it outright, they win the whole weekend outright. And going from that region or that continent where there's only two game spots, it's a huge confidence boost that they can be one of those two teams that takes home the game's ticket. And just like them, there were a lot of teams that saved their best for last and really came through in test number five. Yeah, a couple, one Invictus Inconquerable, they actually beat their A team in this test, so they get a little bragging rights there. But really, team man-made. They had their best finish of the weekend, fourth in North America, but also fourth worldwide, so it was competitive globally. And this is a great performance from a team. The last time we saw them in this type of competition was in 2018 when they finished 28th at regionals. It would be a huge step up to be one of the 20 teams that gets to make it to the games from North America. Mentioned Africa and the Eichstad Mighty Oaks is the only team to finish test number five on that continent. They're made up of Callum Diebel, Jacob Britz, Mariska Smith, and Nadine Roos. They are clearly now the team to watch as they head to semifinals. Yeah, they're the only team to finish the final test underneath the cap. They win four out of five tests. Their lone blemish is a, a second place finish in test number four by just a few pounds. I'm calling it now. They're going to take the lone spot out of Africa, and I think it would be a massive upset if anyone besides the Eichstad Mighty Oaks actually walked away with that ticket. Your overall leaders for each continent are as follows. Tommy just mentioned the Eichstad Mighty Oaks. They had the lowest score of any of the leaders on every continent at just six points. In Asia, it's Team Dubai with that clutch performance puts them atop of the overall leaderboard in that continent. Over in Europe, CrossFit Zuriola training culture with 24 points. They were in a close one there. They managed to squeak out that victory. North America, no shock that it's uh, CrossFit Mayhem Freedom with 12 points. Oceania, a team we've talked about a lot this past weekend, 64 Army Gold with just nine points. And then finally down in South America, uh, Formix Brazil. And we knew that we had to watch Mayhem coming into uh, this quarterfinals round. Now we know who to watch around the world as well. 
Yeah, some some interesting performances across the weekend. Obviously, Mayhem starts with a, a penalty on test number one. That's a fifth place. But then they go on and win three out of the next four, three records in those tests that they won. And test four, they finished fourth, but no one in the top 20 actually managed to beat them in that test. When you talk about the contenders that they could potentially see at the games, no one even came close. That's just another example of how dominant they're going to be once they get to the games. And then you go over to Europe. A European team, Sean, has never finished on the podium at the CrossFit Games in the history of the Affiliate Cup. With this format switch, this is an awesome opportunity for some of those European teams to step up and take advantage of a little bit of the chaos with the format switch. And then for Zuriola to kind of come out and win the final mm -hmm. test, win the weekend for the quarterfinals, and outlast some of those really talented Scandinavian teams from Norway, from Sweden, from Denmark, that's a huge feather in their cap to feel confidence going into the next round. And then last but certainly not least, I think this is a great story down in South America from Brazil, the four mixed Brazil team that is in the top spot right now. One of the members on their team is Anita Pravati. She is a longtime athlete out of Brazil, competing in the Open since 2012. She has been the two-time fittest woman in Brazil in back-to-back -back years, but she's never gone to the games. And I think for a continent like South America and an ecosystem like Brazil that has absolutely exploded in CrossFit over the past five years, for someone that has been a leader down there to finally make the games on a team, representing a Brazil and her affiliate would be phenomenal. Because of name recognition, we were keeping an eye on a lot of teams. We didn't know what to expect from them, but just the name and the tradition behind them, they had their attention. One of those teams over in Europe right now on the wrong side of the cut line. Yeah, Vondel Gym out of the Netherlands. If you go back just a couple of years ago in 2019, only 14 teams made it to the games that year. Vondel Gym was one of them, earning their spot out of the Lowlands thrown on the hometown team in Netherlands. And just a couple of years later now, they're on the outside looking in as far as semifinals are concerned. I understand there's turnover. I understand it's a different roster and not the same team, but still just the name recognition. You expect them to be a little bit better than that. And then on the exact opposite of that is the 64 yeah. Army team. I mean, we mentioned it yesterday. They've got so many teams in semifinals. They basically got the entire periodic table of elements listed next to their <laughs> teams. Get a good, good group rate on travel as well. Exactly. Send everybody. Oh man. And then, and then you couple that with a team in Awas side who's actually following the same programming as that and now you have a programming system that has five teams under their umbrella 25 percent of the competitive field going to semifinals. it's possible we could see multiple mm -hmm. teams from this collection of, of teams actually go to the games and that would be certainly impressive all we really knew for sure coming into the quarterfinals keep an eye on mayhem freedom that was obvious what else did we learn after these five tests well, I think Mayhem, as far as physical capacity is mm -hmm. go, is the, is the toast of the town. And I think for the rest of the contents, we, from a physical standpoint, we figured out who are the lead dogs. But now we really get to test the chemistry aspect, the thing that comes with team-oriented tests with the worm and team implements and all the things like nonverbal communication right. and strategy within a test that we see in live competition. That's what's up next for the semifinals. So we figured out the physical capacity. Now we get to see the team work more. This episode of Game Central is presented by Beast Gooder. And right now you can go to gooder.com slash CrossFit. You can use the promo code CrossFit and you will save 15% off your sunnies today. Once again, that is gooder.com slash CrossFit and the code is CrossFit to save 15%. We also want to invite you to check out our featured matchups from Test 5. We have two heats of those. You're going to want to watch those. Semi-finals now just a few weeks away. Can't wait to get into that. And the CrossFit Games are quickly approaching at the end of July, early August. That's when they will be held in Madison, Wisconsin. Tickets for the games on sale now, games.crossfit.com. If you want to volunteer, registration for volunteering opens up on May 3rd, and you can also go to games.crossfit.com for that. Thank you so much for joining us on this edition of Game Central. For Tommy Marquez, I'm Sean Woodland. It's on to the semifinals. The CrossFit Games are returning to Madison, Wisconsin, and you can be there to see all the action. Ticket packages are on sale now. Choose between festival only or a festival plus Coliseum package to ensure that you are on hand to witness the best athletes in the world compete for the title of fittest on earth. Be part of the celebration live. Head to games.crossfit.com to purchase your tickets today.